Now here's a look at the month of January of 2023 for the Earth sign Capricorn. Your best days in January will be the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. This is when the moon is in Capricorn and when you are at high tide. When the moon sign or your ruling planet Saturn passes through Capricorn, the lessons you are tasked with are obstacles to be overcome and learned from. Now here's a look at January in your love life. In week number one, the reason for siblings and family is to teach us how to live with others. So when we seek our mates, we'll know what we're looking for. Something that you learned back at an early age is now coming into play and takes your relationship to a whole new level. In week number two, the version of the truth that you hear about someone is not the whole truth. So be slow to judge before you check out the facts for yourself. Jumping to conclusions is leaping before you look at where you're going to land and on whose toes you're going to land on. In week number three, everything that you thought you knew about someone is now turned upside down when you're allowed to see this situation from a different point of view and realize that everything in the universe experiences birth, death, and rebirth. So patience truly is the greatest virtue. In week number four, the universe takes a hand, forces a conclusion that's been needing to happen for quite some time. After a person or event has served its purpose in your life, it must be released. Now here's a look at January in your career. In week number one, you were put into your current position in a way that was so easy it seemed predestined. And it was the wish of a guardian spirit to have you in the right place at the right time to accept what is opening up for you now. So follow your heart, admit what you love to do. In week number two, a coworker is asking you to cover for them by telling a small lie. Your guides are waving red flags to warn you about the consequences that will come if you uh, honor this request. Now in week number three, something is coming to an end. So be ready for sudden change when the lightning bolt hits and blows the old away to make room for what has been waiting in the wings and is now ready to take center stage. In week number four, what ends now is better off gone because it gives you the opportunity to discover new things. It gives you a reason to end the old cycle so you can make room for the new that will enter your life when there's a need for it. Now here's a look at January and your finances. In week number one, life can be very simple when you listen to your own heart over the opinions of other people. Other souls believe that it's easier to change your mind than to go to all the trouble of changing theirs. Beware of flattery, because fame is just the opinion of other people. In week number two, you receive a teachable moment, and the perfect students are in the right place at the right time to demonstrate that forgiveness outlives revenge. When we demonize those we hate, we give them all the powers of the fallen angels. When we love those we hate, we become enlightened. In week number three, you can change your world by simply changing how you respond to others. When you believe that you are loved by the universe, you have no fear of what's coming to you in the future. In week number four, all new beginnings come with a best if used by dating system that lets you know that nothing is forever. Anything you ever thought about another soul will change because you and every other soul on the planet change every day. So that's a look at your days in January, according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights in January, according to the moon sign. In week number one, the week of the full moon, which will rise in Cancer. So the dreams and fantasies that come now are advising you to stay on the middle road to avoid any extremes. 
What you see in these dreams is meant to scare you and keep you on the straight and narrow. In week number two, the week of the last quarter moon, which rises in Libra. So the dreams and the fantasies that come now are foreshadowing a time in the future when you're going to be called on to make an impartial decision. In week number three, a week of the new moon, which will rise in Aquarius. So the dreams and the fantasies that come to you now are to show you where you are in the big picture and show you how you can affect the future with your actions in the present. In week number four, the week of the first quarter of the moon, which will rise in Taurus. So the dreams and the fantasies that come now are generated by the five physical senses, which help us discover our gifts and talents so we can best put them to use. And that's a look at the month of January for the Earth sign, Capricorn. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.